Hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of For the Girls. I'm your host, Victoria Alario, and I am really excited for today's episode. It came out on a whim. I was looking for the inspiration that I needed to do this episode. I have a whole long list of topics that I could really talk about at any given point in time, but I prefer to talk about the topics that just feel right in the moment. Like, yes, today is a good time for me to discuss this specific thing. And, you know, nothing was really hitting me. Like I said, I have a whole list of things. So I'm looking, I'm looking, and I'm just like, shit. Like, I don't know what I really feel in my heart to talk about right now. And then I'm going through Instagram, and I'm watching stories And bam, it hit me. So somebody posted on their story this quote. And it says, Closing the blinds doesn't mean the sun's not shining. I immediately screenshotted it and I was like, this is it. This is my topic of the day. Closing the blinds doesn't mean the sun's not shining. And now this quote can have so many different interpretations and analysis. Analysises? Do you say analysises? What's the plural of analysis? Hmm, I should probably know that as a podcast host, but it's fine. Many different types of analyses. <laughs> I don't really know. Anyway, my point is, is that there's a lot of different ways to interpret this and break this down. And so I actually had written into one of my business group chats and asked everyone to give me their feedback because I wanted to see what they thought. What what are they getting from this? And the responses are just so great because I'm getting so many different ones and I'm going to share with you all. But first, I want to talk about my interpretation. Now, I want to talk about it in the literal sense first because that's why this quote hit me the way it did when I first read it. It's funny because this quote is not really meant to be taken literally, but it absolutely can. Um, I know that there's deeper meanings and figurative understandings to it, but when I first read it, I immediately saw it literally because I, you know, I've been struggling for the past few months, especially during the winter with literally having the blinds closed. Now, ever since I moved out of my parents' home, I've always lived in apartment buildings with apartments that are high up. From the ground, you cannot see into my windows. I mean, in Miami, I literally was on the 46th floor. Like, you couldn't see from you couldn't see from anywhere. Not only the round up, you couldn't see in my apartment at all. Like there was no way you could see in there. Um, so I've always just lived in apartments that are high up. So I've always been the type of person since moving out of my parents' house who kept the blinds open, the curtains open, whatever, 24-7. It's how I woke up 7 a.m. sharp every day because as soon as the sun came up, I woke up because I always had like these big floor to ceiling windows and you know the sun was just shining through my apartment 24 7 I would sleep to the city lights you know I would sleep with the blinds open I would wake up with the blinds open I would get changed with the blinds open like I just always had the sun shining in my apartment 24 7 and so that was something that was very important to me when I was moving north you know now that I moved back over here was that I wanted to be able to have floor to ceiling windows again and have the sun come in because in the literal sense, it had a very big effect on my day because I work from home and having the sun shining through my apartment all day just kept me going and kept me awake and kept me motivated and you know, you could see life outside and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted that still. But then when it came down to finally finding like the apartment that I live in now, there were many things I had to sacrifice because living in Florida and living in New Jersey are 
very different (laughs) means of living. The apartments are just super different. So one of the things that I sacrificed is that my apartment is now on the ground floor. I live in a brownstone, which is a house basically. And I, of course, I could have moved into another apartment complex and got the floor to ceiling windows and been high up. But this was the apartment that I loved. And I was willing to make that sacrifice. But it didn't really mentally hit me until quite recently where I realized how less productive I am and how much later I wake up in the morning and just the way that I go through the motions and everything because I literally have the blinds closed all day long. I tend to forget how sunny it is out. Like I will literally walk to the gym in the afternoon and as soon as I step out of my apartment, I'm like, oh shit, it's so bright out right now. Like I've been cooped up in my apartment all day that I'm not even realizing that the sun is shining, the sun is bright. I better go get some sunglasses on, you know? I'm almost imagining that when I am to step out of my house that it's gonna be just as bright as it was inside. And, you know, I'm realizing like I am waking up groggy at 9.30 in the morning because I have the blinds closed in my bedroom because I can't sleep with them open anymore because people can see in my room. I went from having the the sun as my alarm clock to a pitch black room that I just simply cannot wake up in. And it truly has taken a toll on my mental capacity and productivity by you know, being in darkness and not having the blinds open. And I literally forget that the sun is shining all day long. And yesterday, I was walking around, you know, where I live. And there was just so many people outside. And it was a Saturday afternoon. And I would say for the most part on a Saturday afternoon, I'm working, I'm on the computer, I'm taking a nap, I'm watching TV, I'm just like chilling inside because I, again, literally am not even aware of the life going on outside my windows because I don't see it. I don't hear it, I don't see it, I'm like totally in my own world in here. And so yesterday when I was walking around, I like made this conscious decision that I got to get out of the house, you know, the minute that I catch myself thinking like, okay, well, I finished work, let me just like go lay in bed now, or, you know, let me just like watch TV now, whatever it is, I have to just channel the understanding that just because the blinds are closed doesn't mean the sun's not shining. And I have to remember that there's life outside these windows. People are having fun. People are going for walks. Like I just, I really couldn't believe how many people were right outside my apartment yesterday. And I truly was like internalizing it all. And I just, I'm like, holy shit. I can't believe that I have not been taking advantage of the outside all this time. Until now that I finally you know, opened my eyes to it. So in the literal sense, having the blinds closed has really hindered me from understanding and seeing that the sun is still shining. And it's really opened my mind and my eyes to the deeper meaning and the deeper interpretation. And, you know, the figurative sense, you know, of what this means, closing the blinds doesn't mean that the sun's not shining. So many people figuratively close the blinds to opportunity. They don't even, they're not even aware of the fact that so many other people are winning and thriving in opportunities that they are hiding themselves from. You know that saying that's like, there are people less qualified and less talented than you? winning at something that you could be doing right now because they are going after the opportunity 
whatever the exact quote is, but I think that you guys will know what it is. There are people way less qualified, way less talented than you are that can see the sun is shining right now and they are seizing the opportunity and they are succeeding at it while you're sitting in the darkness. You're figuratively closing the blinds, but that doesn't mean the opportunity isn't available. That doesn't mean... It could honestly be right in front of you if you would just look to the sun. So like I said, in the literal sense, me not being able to see on a daily basis what's going on outside my apartment doesn't mean that there's not so much life happening outside my apartment. It just means that I'm choosing not to see it. And that's the same here. So same here figuratively. Just because you're not paying attention to what's going on around you, just because you can't see the opportunity doesn't mean that it's not existing, doesn't mean that there aren't thousands of people seizing and succeeding the opportunities that you could have just because you are choosing not to see it. It's funny because... Like I said, that happened yesterday where I was walking around and seeing how many people were outside. And then I only saw this quote this morning. So it was a perfect fit within a matter of like 24 hours. But also two days ago, fitting, like all signs have just been leading me to this quote and to this episode because I just saw a video on TikTok the other day. You know those people, like the TikTokers who interview random people on the street and they ask them like, what's your salary or what job do you have? What do you do for a living? How much money do you make? You know what I'm talking about? There's some people who ask people, oh, how much is your car? What's your job? What song are you listening to? They're just like going around asking people questions. Well, I came across one of those videos where an interviewer asked a guy, what's your salary? And then I think he was trying to like guess his job, something of the sort. And the guy said that he makes $500,000 a year. And when I tell you, everyone in the comments was not believing it. Everyone in the comments was like, uh, what's the word they, they use now? That's cap. Sorry, I hate that language, but that's what everyone's saying in the comments. That's cap. Um, that's not possible. Uh, guy just fully lied on the internet about his income. Like no one was believing it. And I commented and I was like, the only people who wouldn't believe that someone could be this successful are the people who believe that they personally can't be this successful. And it's so damn true and it matches with this quote. The only people who believe other people cannot be this successful are the people who are sitting in the darkness closing the blinds. They have no idea that the sun is still shining right past the blinds they have it closed but that doesn't mean the sun's not shining they don't believe that they can be successful they don't believe that they can make five hundred thousand dollars a year but that doesn't mean other people can't just because you don't think that you can doesn't mean other people can't so yeah it was all just such a seamless fit to talk about this today because so many people do not want to see things So they are choosing not to see it. And for me, choosing to live on the ground floor and have my blinds closed all day long has directly impacted and affected my mental health and my, like I said, productivity during the day. So imagine if we're talking about it literally, imagine the toll it'll have on you figuratively if you choose to walk around all day with blindfolds on and I'm not talking literal blindfolds I'm talking about if you choose to live your life never seeing opportunity so now like I said I asked some people to give an interpretation on this quote and I want to read them to you because some of them I really love the way that they put it into words someone said I interpret that quote as You can't ignore your problems, your life, etc. just because you're not paying attention to it. It does not mean that it's not still there. You're just basically shutting your eyes to it. 
And the same goes for happiness. If you want to quote, quote, close the blinds and shut out the world, people, etc., then you aren't going to experience the happiness that you would if you were open to it and not shutting yourself out from whatever it is. It could be relationships or a career path, literally anything that scares you because people have a habit of shutting their eyes to the scary stuff. For example, wanting a real relationship but being too afraid to open up to someone. You're shutting yourself off from even having the possibility of it because you're too scared. I thought this was such an amazing analysis because it is so true that we so often choose to ignore things or hide from things or shut ourselves out from things, but that doesn't mean that these things still don't exist. So she started off by talking about, you know, problems and things like that. You can't just sweep your problems under the rug. It doesn't mean that they won't exist when you finally pick up the rug. You're going to pick up the rug and there's all the problems under it. So when you shut out problems and people and just ignore things, it's still there when you actually end up having to face it. Someone else said, the way that I interpret this is just because you are choosing not to do something or putting effort towards something and it's not going your way for a while does not mean it's not achievable. The sun is still shining. People are still getting things done. Just because you are having a bad day or going through one of your lows doesn't mean it's going to be like that forever. So it would better serve you to open up the blinds and keep going because it's still possible and achievable. And that was so great because this is where consistency comes into play. When we talk about motivation doesn't make you win, you know, discipline makes you win. Holding yourself accountable makes you win. Staying consistent makes you win. You can't just be motivated all the time. It's never going to work out like that. But when you hold yourself accountable to stay consistent, that's when you see results. And that's what I'm understanding from what she's saying is that just because you might not be seeing the results right now doesn't mean it's not achievable. So don't close the blinds just because you're putting it off or because you're not putting the proper amount of effort into it just because you are not seeing the result that you want to see right now does not mean that it's not possible there are people still going there are people going through the same shit as you there are people having lows just like you are but they are powering through they are pushing through and that's why they are seeing the results because they stayed consistent they kept the blinds open They kept looking toward the shining sun even when they were going through their lows. There were two other people who said very similar observations that I loved. One said, you could surround yourself in darkness, but the world still revolves. Life is still happening and opportunity is going to pass you by. Sunshine is waiting for you. And then the other said, Knowing that you are closing out the rest of the world doesn't mean that everything else stops moving. The world keeps turning. The sun is still shining whether you want to be a part of it or not. Somebody else said, Closing the blinds only secludes you from getting any benefits the sun has to offer. You can close yourself off and hear about how it's benefiting everyone else or you can open those blinds up and soak in all the vitamin D and enjoy what it has to offer. This was such a cool analysis to me because hearing her use the words benefits really stood out to me. So she's talking about the benefits. So the example she uses is the vitamin D coming from the sun. Obviously, she's referring to it in a figurative sense. Yes, vitamin D is the literal benefit from the sun, but she's talking about opportunity and all different things when you soak up the sun you get the vitamin d so when you embrace the opportunity you get the benefits you get the results and this analysis reminds me of that saying nothing changes if nothing changes meaning everyone wants the benefits everyone wants the rewards everyone wants all these things that can come from 
doing the thing, but no one makes any changes. And nothing changes if nothing changes. If you don't make a change in your life, you will not see the benefit. You may want the income. You may want the dream body. You may want the relationship goals. But nothing changes if nothing changes. And if you do not open up the blinds and, you know, like she said, soak up the sun and soak up the vitamin D, you are not going to see any results or any benefits by remaining complacent and stagnant. And to finish this off, I want to share something from what somebody else said. I'm not going to read her whole message because it's long, but what really hit me the most from her message was when she said something along the lines of, just because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel doesn't mean the light isn't there. And I feel like that is the most powerful thing about this quote. Closing the blinds doesn't mean the sun's not shining is basically saying just because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel doesn't mean the light is not there. You might just have a much longer way to go in the tunnel. You know, so many people stop. So many people quit too soon. Because there's so much darkness, because there's struggle, because there's failure, because there's hardships. But that's what you have to face when you go through the tunnel. You will not see the light at the end of it if you do not go through these obstacles. You have to, have to, have to embrace the highs and lows. Ride the waves of the ups and downs. That's how the ocean works, right? The waves come and go. They're up and they're down. They're rough and then they're calm. Sometimes they just freaking knock the wind out of you and push you straight on your ass. But then you got to get back up and take on the next wave. And the next wave that comes might be a really nice, calm, gentle wave. Or the next wave that might come could be 10 times worse and throw you underwater and you can't breathe for a minute and you're like, holy shit, am I going to make it out of here? And then the wave subsides and you get up and you're back on your feet. Everyone knows the saying. I mean, we've heard it our whole lives. Of course, now I'm going to butcher it fall down nine times, get up 10, right? Hopefully I said it right. I feel like every time I try to say quotes on here, I say it wrong. I like lose my confidence when I'm trying to say the quote because I don't want to say the quote wrong, but then I just make it worse by doubting myself. But it's like fall down nine times, get up 10, fall down seven times, get up eight. You guys get the point. You have to get up every single time you fall. You have to make the changes if you want to see the benefits, if you want to see the results, if you want to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Because it really hit me that I made the choice to be in the darkness. I made the choice to literally close the blinds. I made the choice to neglect that life goes on outside these windows. When I think back to when I lived in Florida, you know, my biggest problems were that I could see the pool from my office window and I would be on the computer in my office and see everyone at the pool and I'd be like, fuck it, I'm going to go down to the pool. And I would still work from the pool. I just would shift from being, you know, head down in the computer to being a little distracted and doing it on my phone. But shit, those were good problems to have, weren't they? Instead, now I'm so cooped up that I never see what other people are doing. And sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes you got to just be head down and get your work done and you can't lose sight of it. But I really do think back to when I literally had the blinds open and I could see life outside and I could see people having fun and it really has made an effect on me not seeing that life 
So when I think about the figurative sense, I know that it is making a major effect on you right now. If you are closing your eyes to opportunity, if you are choosing to close the blinds and live in the darkness, I already know that you are suffering and struggling right now and you need to make a change. Nothing changes if nothing changes. The light at the end of the tunnel is shining bright. You just have to choose to keep going and see it. Thank you all so much for listening to another episode and I'll see you next time.